everyone, my name is Madison Green and I'm about to enter my third year as an anthropology and geography major here at Cal Poly. My concentration within this major is global studies and international development and I'm also minoring in economics and global politics. I'll tell you all a little bit more about our other concentration options that are available in just a few seconds and after that I'll tell you a little bit more about the experiences I've had as part of this major. But first, I'll give you very simple definitions of what anthropology and geography are and why at Cal Poly these two seemingly separate fields are combined. So anthropology in the broad sense is the study of humans and human society, while geography is the study of places and their environments. By combining these two fields of study, our department is able to emphasize how deeply interconnected humans and the environments we inhabit are. From my very broad and general definition of these two things, um, you can probably tell that this major covers a lot of areas, and your curiosities may be a little more specific. I know mine are. And that's where your concentration choice comes in. For me, I've always been fascinated by how different and at the same time similar societies around the world are. And for as long as I can remember, I've been outraged by the inequity that is visible all around the world. So I chose the Global Studies and International Development Concentration. This conference this concentration focuses on globalization, the social, economic, and ecological processes, and political processes at play in international development. And we are constantly challenged and encouraged to take a deep and critical look at systems of power that impact inequality in different ways. Additionally, there's the concentration in environmental studies and sustainability, which allows students to understand how our physical environment impacts us and how we impact it. You'll be able to learn a lot more about environmental science and sustainable development and the Geospatial Technologies and Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, that help us analyze the physical world we live in. The next option is human ecology, which focuses on the interactions between human biology, human culture, and the natural environment. You gain an in-depth understanding of human, evolution, human and primate evolution and behavior, prehistoric and current environments, indigenous cultures, and so much more. Finally, if none of these seem to fit with your career or academic goals, there's the option to design your own concentration or get a minor that is specifically tailored to suit you. Don't worry if you have absolutely no idea what your niche in this area is yet. You don't have to declare a concentration until the end of your second year. But regardless of concentration, we get the chance to participate in fascinating classes and partake in internships and study abroad opportunities. I've been able to learn so much about conducting quantitative and qualitative research by taking methodological courses in those areas. You also get to learn to use GIS and other geospatial technologies, and you have the option to take an archaeological field methods class as well. Now, while this information about the major is practically important, it's not really the reason why I know this major at Cal Poly is my home. For me, this assurance comes from the wonderful experiences I've had in the past two years. When I first came to Cal Poly, right away I knew I wanted what I wanted to do, and I knew I wanted a career in academia. However, that's hard to do, and I was worried that if that sort of career path didn't work out for me, my, my degree in anthropology and geography wouldn't really be applicable to the job market. Honestly, though, that was really, really wrong. <laughs> um, anthropology and geography and what we learn in this major permeates every part of my daily life, and I can say with close to complete certainty that what you learn, you will be able to apply and it'll give you a unique skill set for just about any career you want to have. And our faculty is beyond determined to help us succeed in whatever career we may want to have. The obvious passion that our faculty have for both what they teach and for their student success, honestly, is just phenomenal. Um, in the last year, I've been able to grow a tremendous amount professionally and personally by working on research projects and as a TA with different faculty. To me, one of the best parts about this department is how open and ready our faculty are to have us help them with research or teaching and just things like that. Being a part of research teams is so incredible in the fact that it's introduced me to peers who I've become really close with. Over the summer, a group of us actually put together and presented a poster at um, a virtual conference and it ended up winning first place and while winning felt really good the best part was just being able to work so closely with people who are just as motivated as I am and having an advisor that really supported us every step of the way. Now there's one final thing that I really want to say about this major and it's that we're pretty small and I think that plays a really big role in how tight-knit we are. Um, professors take care to learn our names and they along with our peers really do care about us. The switch to virtual in the spring was hard for everyone, I think, um, but something great that happened is we made it a weekly habit to have a Zoom call open to everyone in the major, including professors, 
and we just talked about what was going on. We talked about our lives, um, school, classes, anything that was hard or good. And it helped build this bond and it filled that need for human interaction that we all have. And it really cemented the idea that for me, this major is home. And I hope it will be for you all as well.